Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Video Training and this is the fourth video in this series. So in this video today I am going to show you an installation of VMware ESXi 6.5 step by step. So here is my infrastructure which you, I am using in this demo environment. The first machine which is a Win2K 12DC01 which is my Active Directory server here you can see this is my Active Directory server. I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this machine. If you go on local server, you can see the domain name and the server name, IP address, all the configuration. And the second machine is our vCenter 65, which is our vCenter server, which we have installed on which we have installed vCenter on last few videos. Here you can see this is our vCenter server. If you go on local server can see the server name, domain name and IP address and we have here vCenter's uh, admin console where I have logged in on vSphere web client so and we have three ESX source which is ESX0102 and 03 so I have pre-installed ESX01 here you can see and ESX02 both I have installed so I'm going to show you ESX installation ESX 6.5 installation on this machine which is ESX03 so before moving forward you can see here I have assigned 5 gig RAM to this machine and we have CPU 4 cores and I have en enabled the Intel VT technology here which is uh, required uh, to enable uh, install or enable any hypervisor and I have in, uh, like added 8 virtual network card in this VM so so let's mount the ISO image for the vSphere so I'm going in my ISO image we have here 6.5 and here we have a VM visor installer click OK apply and so we are using 5 virtual machine and I'm going to install a ESXi 6.5 on this machine ESX3 and we'll configure do the post configuration as well as so I have mounted the CD installation media and click power on machine so now you can see it's booted from ESXi 5.6.5 uh, and standalone installation so let's click here now it's loading the ESXi installer So it's checking the all pre-requests which is required to boot the 6.5. So now you can see VMware ESXi 6.5 kernel build number this and we have two Intel Core CPUs and 5 gig of RAM on this machine. So wait for this machine to boot up and then we can go ahead and do the installation for ESXi 6.5. So it's loading user loaded successfully so it's loading all the kernel and all the required things which is required during the installation now it's loading a driver for NIC which is E1000 in our case so So one by one it's it will initialize all the hardware which is connected with this ESX host ESXi 3.0 now you can see it's started the starting service which is related to ESXi installation so almost here so now we have welcome to VMware ESXi 6.5 installation so enter to continue and here we have a license agreement so click F11 to accept the license terms and we have 40 uh, gig of uh, 
hard drive ad attached to this ESXi which is given there so click OK and now select the your keyboard I'm going with the default US default click OK and set the password and now it's scanning for another system information so we are done and now if I click on press 11 and it will start the installation so go ahead F11 now you can see the installing SXI 6.5 it's 9 percent completed so it will take some time like 5 to maximum 5 minutes to get the installation done for SXI 6.5 so the time we have to wait after the installation it will require one reboot so I am pausing the recording here once the installation is done we'll write back so almost 90 percent completed it will take another one minute so here we are the installation is successfully and it's saying remove the installation media before restart so I'm going to do this on a setting I'm going to disconnect this here media installation media and hit enter to reboot and now I'm going to reboot this machine so it will take some time the server will shut down and reboot and this process will take a short time to complete so it's initiated the reboot for this machine and now you can see it's booting again and now this time it's loading VMware ESXi so we have ESXi 6.5 and 5 gig RAM and 2, core, uh, two CPUs the booting will take some time so now you can see the machine is booted and it's taking the IP address from the mm, DHCP APIPA so I'm going to now customize and configure the post installation configuration for ESXi 6.5 so I'm going to hit F2 to customize the system system so F2 now it's asking for credentials so I'm going to put my credential here now click F2 so it will change some time where we are if you want to change the password you can go ahead and change the password for this machine so I'm interested to do configure network management so I'm going to click here and if you go on IPv4 we need to set the static IP so I'm going to put the static IP which is 192.168.1.243 I'm going to give it subnet mark 255.255.255 so and IPv6 I'm going to disable so now you can see I have configured the IPv4 IPv6 now it's time to configure the DNS suffix so on a primary DNS server I'm going to put my AD Active Directory DNS server which is 192.168.1.254 and name is ESXi-03 and last is configure DNS suffix so I'm going to put here DNS suffix which is my domain name victorinfosol.com so it's done so we have configured IPv4 disable IPv6 DNS name and the DNS server and the DNS suffix so if I click on skip now it will ask the apply changes and reboot host I'm going to click Y. Yes, I want to save the changes and reboot the host. So now it will take some time to reboot. And next task, we need to add the DNS entry on, in our domain for this host. So let's do that. So I'm going to launch the DNS management from AD server. 
So on a DNS management, if I go and see, I have added ESXi1 and ESXi2 host entry. So I'm going to make for, before moving forward, I want to show you the ping response and the DNS lookup. So if I put here the NS lookup and if I put here the ESXi-01, we have entry 241 and for 2, we have also 242 and for ESX3 we don't have entry so I'm going to make this entry now so if I go and ping ESXi-01 we will get the reply from the ESX1 and for ESX2 also and if I do this for ESX3 we will not get any reply because the domain is not getting understand the source name so let's do here right click and make the new host and we need to put here ESXi-03 and I'm going to put the IP address 192.168.1.243 and allow any authentication to update the DNS so add so here we have now you can see we have added the this ESX host now if I go here and NS lookup and if I type here ESXi03 you can see it's getting resolved and now we need to test the ping so see the survey is up or not so the survey is up here you can see the static IP address is configured so I need to do here IP config plus DNS Oops, we need to do this. Plus DNS, and now if I ping, so you will see it's getting resolved. So, so this is all about the installation of ESXi 6.5 and post configurations and how to add a DNS entry. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.